Welcome back. Let's get to the first corporate conversation on trading R now. Fino Payments Bank is the stock on our radar. Good set of Q4 numbers. The total income expanding both on an annual and on a quarter on quarter basis. We have with us Rishi Gupta, MD and CEO of Fino Payments Bank uh, with us on the show. Uh, Rishi, thank you very much uh, for joining in. Uh, since the rollout of your Casa product in 2019, you have been making strong inroads into the retail liability. So if you could give us some numbers, what are the total deposit customers as of you know, March 2023? What is the average cost of deposits that you are getting over there? And is there a guidance on Casa going ahead? So, uh, good morning. Uh, total customers in Casa, we have 1.1 crore uh, customers. We have added 32 lakh customers in 23-24. I'm happy to say that 40 lakh of those customers are digitally active. On a CASA revenue side, we have seen a 36% growth on year-on-year -year basis. This is now contributing to 23% of our overall revenue. Our renewable income, which is our annuity income, is now at 128 crores in this financial year. We have seen a 75% growth on that account as well. On liability side, we have seen a 49% average increase in our liability business in 24-23 as such. In quarter four, we have seen a 40% growth on y on y basis. On an overall basis, we are at about 1700 odd crores of deposits as of March 24. Our average customer balance has also gone up by 9% uh, in this financial year. We expect to continue with the momentum on CASA and uh, we expect that the total number of customers will uh, cross by another 30-35 lakhs in FI 24-25. And our uh, average balances as well as liability business and transaction uh, income related to ASA will improve as the number of customers and the balances go up. So, and are you also maintaining that the total uh, customer base will hit 2.8 crore by FI28? I think that's the yeah, guidance have, you had shared have, earlier. Yes, we're continuing with the same guidelines. Uh, guidance on 35 to 40 lakh customers on an annual basis will keep on adding. Okay. Can you give us an outlook on the debit card spends? How were they and what is the outlook on that for FI25? What is it that you're seeing on the ground? So when we look at debit card, we have to look at the total expenses which people are using uh, through the banking ecosystem. Over and above the debit card, UPI has become one of the bigger uh, spend uh, platform which is being used by the customers. On a UPI side, we have increased, we have seen an increase on average of about 11% uh, last year. Uh, our UPI transaction volume has grown by 175% on year-on-year -year basis. Debit card in particular has grown by 5%, but as you know, the ecosystem is moving from debit cards to UPI now, and UPI volumes are substantially going up in the entire ecosystem. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, in terms of uh, just the outlook for the year as a whole, I mean, FI25, can you give us some sense on what's the kind of business growth that you would be aiming for? Yeah, uh, in, F, in quarter four or FI24, we actually achieved 401 crores of top line, which was 24% uh, on a year-on basis. We expect that the growth which we have seen in March and uh, continuing in April, we should see a guidance of above 20% uh, in FI24-25. Over and above our uh, traditional businesses of CASA and CMS, which has grown at substantially uh, above around 30% plus in the last two years and so, uh, we expect that digital business, which is now contributing to 9% of the overall revenue, will substantially improve in FI24-25 and should reach about 12-15% to 15 of the overall revenue for us. Looking at uh, the three big uh, engines running on CASA, digital and CMS, we expect that the growth should be above 20% uh, in FI24-25. We're quite optimistic and positive with the trend which we are seeing in the last couple of months. And Rishi, can you also throw some color on where all this growth is coming from. You're saying all engines will fire and you're con confident in, of digital as well. But sort of which regions, geographies, where is uh, the, the growth coming from? So uh, from a region point of view, we are uh, nearly one third, one third in north and east, around 20% in west and about 10 to 15% in south. We are seeing substantial growth coming up in <coughs> south region for us because that is the region we started a couple of years back. And also on the east uh, side, especially in the northeast and West Bengal, we are seeing growth uh, coming as such. But on an overall basis also, there is a growth across the country and specifically when I look at the, uh, the, the central part of the country, we are seeing a robust growth uh, continuing in our platform over, over the years. Mm. Uh, just a, a word on margins as well. Q4 uh, EBITDA margins stand at around 
13 and a half percent is that a sustainable level and what's the outlook looking at this year so uh, uh, just to correct you a bit on that uh, so EBITDA was at 26 percent and pad was at 14 percent and uh, for the quarter four whereas for the full year we are at 41 percent on EBITDA and 32 percent on uh, pad we expect uh, that the pad uh, percentage should uh, go higher in fy 24 25 uh, because there were uh, some expenses which we had to incur in quarter four uh, because we are on a build phase as far as the digital business is concerned. So there is a high cost on digital and IT uh, as such. Plus there were some settlement uh, costs which had to be incurred uh, as such. So overall basis, we expect that 24-25, we should see a higher revenue growth and a better uh, EBITDA and a pattern. Rishi, thank you very much uh, for joining in. Wish you all the very best. Need to get into a break on the